welcome back to another Sila. Um, I'm going to continue in this topic of dealing with things in our lives, whether that's a busy life, a hard time. Um, and so when we go through hard times, it can be easy to feel alone, to feel misunderstood, to feel like no one understands what we're going through and no one seems to care what we're going through. But when we are in these emotions and feelings, um, we have to be careful that these thoughts do not lead us to push away people in our lives that God places in our lives to take care of us. And so in the Bible, there's a woman named Naomi who was in a similar position. She had lost a lot. And in those moments where she felt misunderstood, where she felt completely alone, she pushed away people who wanted to be there for her. So if you would open your Bibles to Ruth chapter 1, where we're going to learn about her story. It says, In the days when the judges ruled, there was a famine in the land and a man from Bethlehem in Judah, together with his wife and had two sons, went to live for a while in the country of Moab. The man's name was Elimelech. His wife's name was Naomi. And the names of his two sons were Malin and Kilian. They were Euphrates from Bethlehem, Judah. And they went to Moab and lived there. Now Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died. And she was left with her two sons. They married Mo a Moab woman named Orpah and the other Ruth. After they had lived there about 10 years, both her sons had died. And Naomi was left with her two daughter-in-laws, um, Naomi, I mean Ruth and Orpah. In verse 6 it says, When she heard in Moab that the Lord had come to the aid of his people by providing food for them, Naomi and her daughters-in-law prepared to return home from there. With her two daughters-in-law, she left the place where she had been living and set out on the road that would take them back to the land of Judah. Then Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go back, each of you, to, the mother's, to your mother's home. May the Lord show kindness to you as you have shown to my dead, husband, my dead sons. May the Lord grant that each of you will find rest in the home of another husband. Then she kissed them and they wept aloud and said to her, We will go back with you to your people. But Naomi said, Return home, my daughters. Why would you come with me? And I am going to a place. And am I going to have any more sons who could become your husbands? No. Return home, my daughters. I am too old to have another husband. Even if I thought there was still hope for me, even if I had a husband tonight and gave them birth to sons, would you wait until they grow up? Would you remain unmarried for them? No, my daughters. It is more bitter for me than for you because the Lord the Lord's hand has gone out against me. And I'm going to stop right there. So she continues to try to push them away. Um, but Ruth decides to stick by her. Um, so even though Naomi tried so badly to push her away, Ruth was the one to stand by her side. This is the kind of friend and the kind of person that God is to us. It says in Psalms 103 verses 8 that the Lord is compassionate and merciful. And when we cross all the lines, He is patient with us. When we struggle against Him, He lovingly stays with us, changing, convicting, and prodding. So in the same way that the Lord showed, shows us love, the way that Ruth stood by Naomi's side, um, I want to encourage you that when we feel alone, um, that we lean into those people that God places us to care for us. You know, because oftentimes we don't want to stay in our bitterness. And, and that's why God places those people in our lives. So I want to leave with this question with you. It says, who has God put in your life to comfort and stick with you? So think about that and stick by them. Um, so now let's flip over to our passage of Selah, which is Psalms 23. So in Psalms 23, it says that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. 
He makes me lie down in green pastures, and he lies me beside quiet waters. He leads me besides quiet waters and restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, and your rod and staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you again. Thank you for joining us. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss the video. See you next time.